All right, what I did is I popped the head off this engine real quick, and when you mic it out, you see that the uh, relief area in here is only about a uh, little over, it's about 71.1 millimeter. These pistons are 71.5. Let me see if we can see that or not. So with these pistons at 71.5 and this head at only 71.10, there's an interference. Uh, factory spec, from what I can tell, you have to have about 0.2 millimeter clearance more. So if I'm running a 71.5 piston, I want to be at least 71.7 in my relief area sideways here in this area that is relieved for the piston to come up in. So that's a 0.2 millimeter difference of how that should be. So that's what's going on with this little girl and the piston's been banging banging on the side there so we'll get that fixed up and probably we'll put some new rings in this little girl and hit it quick with a hone. You can see it's, it's already got some grooving started um, for whatever reason here. This is an engine that, that hasn't ran but uh, it already has a pretty nasty groove in it. But um, it's in a what I would call a non-critical part, so it's not going to matter. Uh, we'll be able to, yeah, in fact, they all do. We'll be able to hone that right out. And with new rings on there, take a look at this one. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bet that's from the kissing and banging where it put a little bit of a, a groove in the sidewall. But we'll get that taken care of and, and get some good rings in there and uh, get the head relieved. Uh, might put a Monte Carlo head with it, not sure yet, or might just leave the block as it is. But it shouldn't be a hard fix, but something to be aware of when you're working on these old sobs, all right? So again, this is Tom Downey from Port Dodge, Iowa. Have a great day and safe sobbing.